Our nation has failed. The children and teachers massacred at Sandy Hook Elementary School. How have we failed them? Our words of support may be sincere and compassionate, but they are late. Hopefully we will turn these words into actions that will save other lives. Hopefully the deaths of these 20 children and six adults will show us a better way. The reckless use of inappropriate firearms in this country is the direct consequence of lawmakers who accept money from the NRA. But how many of us have remained silent knowing this fact? Failing to administer to the needs of suffering people beset by mental disease has cost us more than money. Our history of lethal violence in our communities and the misuse of firearms in this country is alarming and unparalleled in the world. Policies that permit sales of high-powered assault weapons and other guns without reliable screening are not mere oversights. They are the direct result of corporate bribery. We commonly refer to this kind of bribery as lobbying, which is simply a more innocuous term used for manipulating lawmakers through payoffs. If we remain silent, the problem will only escalate. Failing to provide funds for the enforcement of existing gun laws is also no mere accident. Complicity and greed lure members of Congress into manufacturing propaganda under the guise of lofty principles that inevitably lead to the violent deaths of innocent Americans. Our nation must reject the ideology that ultimately enables the violent murder of our children and citizens. The sale of high-powered weapons and ammunition is lucrative. We all know that the bullets used to shoot ducks and deer do not need to penetrate bulletproof vests. They are sold simply because there are buyers. Hiding greed under the false banner of constitutional freedom has tricked too many of us. Willingly we have tolerated senseless carnage. At last, enough Americans may be ready to address the insanity of our current gun laws. But understanding the real enemy that we must face is only the beginning. The corrupt influence of the NRA permeates both political parties. To expect meaningful change, we must challenge our trusted servants openly by demanding that they publicly admit how much they each receive from the NRA. Let each member of Congress admit the truth for once and for all. Let each of them meet the mothers, fathers, brothers, and sisters, the families who are grieving the loss of their loved ones in Connecticut. Are Americans finally willing to denounce the NRA's constitutional poppycock? Baiting responsible gun enthusiasts with fear that they will lose their freedom to use their guns is a ploy that must fall by the wayside. The Second Amendment was written in 1787. Those guns were not the weapons that are being used to kill innocent people today. We have a God-given right and duty to protect our families from gunslinging mentally ill sociopaths. Are we ready to challenge our leaders and to hold them responsible for creating sane and enforceable gun laws? Are we ready to provide access to health care for those suffering with mental illness? For some of our leaders, it is only avant-garde to appear concerned in the wake of the latest massacre. Is the NRA waiting for the American people to cool off once again? Will Americans forget this tragedy? Or will it take another mass killing of small children and teachers before this nation 
acts responsibly. President Obama believes we have had enough of these horrific episodes to warrant change. If he is right, the time has come to put our words into action. Contact your state representatives. Ask your elected representatives to boycott the NRA lobbyists. Let the NRA donate their lobby money to the survivors of gun violence. We have the right and duty to demand that our government protect its citizens first before preserving the narrow interests of corporate profiteering. The last election proved that Americans can reject bad candidates who outspend their opponents. And now we have to elect a Congress that will reject the politics of greed. The choice is ours. This is Spade Caller.